Um, she's she's honestly done with it, and that's okay. So were you you were part of the last this one, right? Were you part of this, this season or, or no? No, um, for a couple scenes when we were having Thanksgiving, and for a couple scenes during Christmas. Mm -hmm. But besides that, not really. I they mm -hmm. they when, the few times that I did visit, they they weren't filming. Mm -hmm. Okay, so do you think your siblings want to stay on the show? The ones who are involved? Some of them, yes. Some of them, no. Mm -hmm. In the very beginning, to not be part of it a ton, and they followed it. They that I just wasn't part of it a ton. Some mm -hmm. of us want to be on it more. Some of us don't, and that's. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. And now, how is your youngest sister truly? She's 11 now, right? <laughs> she's 11. She She's very smart and bright for her age, mm -hmm. but she's also still a child. She also still is very ignorant of the world. So she's seeing, right. she, she, she knows that mom left dad. She knows that they're separated. And she knew for a while. Mm -hmm. um, but she's also still... The still a very bright place for her, and we we want to keep it that way. We want to keep mm -hmm. the world to be a very bright place for her, right? Because I mean, it's hard at that age to really understand this. So, yeah, um, she's very bright for her age. She, she does know a lot. She does catch on to a lot. Mm -hmm. But we're really just trying to keep her in the light. Is there anything you hope you know down the road? There's some changes, like whether it be Cody be involved more in Truly's life or your life. Like, what changes would you like to see? I, I, a change that I definitely want is a girlfriend. But besides <laughs> that, I'm not asking for anything. Um, mm -hmm. dad, dad's relationship has always been ups and downs with all of mm -hmm. us. There, there are times when he's the absolute best. There are times when he's the absolute worst. That's proof of the show as well. So, a few seasons ago, he was the best husband and best father mm -hmm. ever. And now people hate him. <laughs> it's so much yeah and it's, and he, he is a person that fluctuates he has always mm -hmm. fluctuated and people's opinions of him have fluctuated so mm -hmm. i don't uh, if it does get better that's a good thing if it doesn't get better that'll make me sad right. i'm not gonna ask for anything does he get really emotional by what the fans think of him like does that affect him <sighs> because it's been 16 seasons i think that we've all grown tough enough skin but mm -hmm. i'm really not sure how he has reacted to all of this mm -hmm. i'm i i know of a few things that i get get on his uh, get on his nerves but i haven't i, I haven't seen anything major mm -hmm. i see and i know like you know you like to connect with your own fans on social media and TikTok. so what's that been like for you uh, TikTok has been wonderful and very, very supportive and positive, except for, okay, so I release a fun video of me saying how much I love my mother, and people are like, oh, he's so much like his mom, he supports his mom, it's wonderful and amazing. And then I say something a little cocky and a little arrogant, oh, he's just like his father, I'm so disappointed. I'm like, <laughs> just let me live my life, please, gosh. Yeah. I've, I've loved the positive, but the negative uh -huh. is so rude. So do you feel like you amazing. take after both of them? Like, which side? <laughs> I am the clone of both of their dads. It comes down to that. I look just like mm -hmm. him. I look just like grandpa. I look just like my mom. I am oh. the, like, clone and, like, the prime specimen of both of their dads. Oh, combined. wow. Uh-huh. And both grandpas just put together. The height, oh. the build, the voice, everything just combined. Mm hmm. Wow. So funny. So you still like to engage with people on social media, even though you're not following everything on what's going on on the show. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's been very fun. It's been very. It's been very nice just hearing mm -hmm. this Im immense amount of support they have, the love they have. Mm -hmm. It's really nice connecting with them. Mm hmm. And now you said, you know, you want a girlfriend. So would you ever be in a polygamous relationship or marriage? No, I've known it since I was like seven. I've known it for most of my life. That is not the life I want to live. All mm -hmm. power to anyone that does right. If you want to live for you, go for it. If you think it's right for you, go for it. I've known it's not right for me since mm -hmm. I was like seven. 
And that's not something your parents are like, you have to do this. Like it's your own option. No, it's, it, they, it, they have been very, very careful to never force anything like that on us. They have mm -hmm. been supportive of just about everything we've done. Mm -hmm. um, Mariah coming out, they were very supportive. Me joining the army, they were very supportive of, of just about everything, not everything. Uh, me mm -hmm. working, because mom's not super happy I'm in construction and not mm -hmm. saving lives. But <laughs> actually, like real decisions we've made, they've been very supportive of us. And mm -hmm. they didn't push, to, to the best of my memory, I have never been pushed towards this. Mm -hmm. Towards oh, okay. anything. It's just not for you because like you don't want multiple wives. Yeah, I just don't want multiple wives. I want mm -hmm. if I can if I can finally get one. <laughs> just... mm -hmm. And then what about your mom? Do you see her next relationship being in polygamy or no? Definitely not. Um she's she's honestly done with it. And that's okay. That's mm -hmm. okay. She's grateful for her sister wives. I think it's the same thing for the kids. We're all grateful for it. She's grateful for it but it's just not for us. Mm -hmm. and just not for her anymore. And now in terms of her starting to date again, are the kids kind of helping out, like trying to set her up on dates? <gasps> I haven't mm -hmm. at all. I, I don't doubt that McKelty has. Aspen, maybe. But I yeah. don't doubt that McKelty has been trying. Uh -huh. But thus far, to the best of my knowledge, nothing has actually happened. Uh, right. there hasn't, to the best of my knowledge, there are no dates, there are no prospects. There's just McKelty being like, oh, hey, mom, when are you going to start dating again? Aspen, maybe. Aspen is like being the oldest child. She's like, maybe, right, like 50-50. Maybe she is yeah. pushing for something. Maybe she's not. I don't mm -hmm. know. 